Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining today. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I always appreciate any support I can get. <laughs> All right, so this is a special request. It is one of those layered uh, files where you add the foam tape so that you have the different sheets of color um, and each sheet shows through just a little bit. So the request that I got was that they saw this file and it looks super cute, which it is. I mean, so cute with the hearts and everything. And I actually, I ended up making it. Um, and it's just, I, I don't know. It's, it's everything cute, right? It's hearts, rainbows. I ended up going with like very Valentine colors. So I did uh, shades of pinks and um one red and then the white so it is so valentine's day all right so let's look at this the first thing that i noticed and i'm recording this is the second time i'm recording it the first time i recorded it yesterday um there was such a delay with there's a lag with design space so i'm re-recording it so it may not sound yesterday it was the first time i had seen the file so what i wanted to talk about and it may seem like duh <laughs> is you want to ungroup it to see what you have over here right like i obviously can see all the different colors and the different layers but we want to change the be mine to love from cedarwood and the person that actually did this or requested it also made it so th there are some definitely lessons learned that I want to share with you um all right so let's ungroup it so that we can see what we have and then we'll talk about all the different things that we learned from making this project <laughs> um okay so the top layer is the white and that's the one that has the words be mine cut out and you can see all the colors from all the papers from behind coming through right so you've got that layer and then you have the red only the red and the white have the words in it so that this makes it very very simple to work with so what you want to do is on the red layer you want to go to contour and we want to get rid of the words be mine um so it's actually very very simple using contour okay so i'm going to hide all but I do want this little opening right here. So I'm gonna click on that to make sure that the square is there and the little opening is there. So look how easy that is to get rid of be mine, right? So that's in there. Now the other thing that I wanted to talk about before we get rid of be mine on the white is that because this is cardstock and we're slicing the words out of the cardstock so that you know you can see it from behind, it's really important to keep in mind that when you have letters where there's an inside to it, like B and E, you normally would have that little middle piece, right? <clears throat> but if you notice, there's a little opening right here at the B and also at the E, and that's so that the inside is connected to the outside so you don't lose it. Because if you think about cardstock, the whole middle piece would fall out and it would just look... Um, it would just look like a hole. Like if you had the letter O, it would just be one big, uh, almost like a rectangle because that little piece in the middle, it's not attached to anything. It's just gonna fall out. So if you have a little slice right here, then it allows for the inside to be connected to the outside so that the words look more like what we're used to seeing. The letters look more like that. All right, <laughs> that's enough, right? Okay, let's go to contour and let's get rid of be mine. And then we will go and add in our own words, which is so cute. All right. So when I made this, so as I originally, I was just going to do the, the design space tutorial. And then I realized this is a really good lesson in why we use stencil letters so that we don't drop the middle of those letters. So I went to go make it. But as you can see, it's a couple layers. So I didn't want to waste a lot of time in cutting and I also didn't want to waste a lot of paper. So I shrunk this to just five inches. So when I did it, when it's only five inches, I didn't really think about how small and thin my letters were. So I had to go back and redo it, which is why there's a part two to design space. And then the part three is actually putting it all together so that you can see everything. All right, the other thing that we learned is that Celeste also made this project and she, you know, 
I did it five by five. So it was, it's small. Everything else was fine. It was just the letters. This is where it really makes a difference in the font that you choose and also the material and how big is your sizing. I kind of worked backwards, right? Originally, I was never going to make it. So, and I knew she's, you know, usually we stick these in shadow boxes. So I didn't really think about how the font was going to impact me making it only five by five. So that's kind of, you know, <laughs> mistakes are, you know, mistakes are made and it's a good learning opportunity. All right. So now we've got these two, right? So here we're going to go to text and the text that I ended up using was... I'm gonna click on the font selection and I search for stencil because I wanted to make sure that, you know, the middle wasn't gonna fall out. And I think the one that I chose, I'm hoping that I'll recognize it because right now I'm not recognizing it. Oh, Wednesday stencil. And we're gonna do love from Cedarwood. And you see, it's a cute little font. Um, and I'm gonna do it the way I originally did it, which was like this. I made it as big as, as long as I could, you know, to fit the whole thing. I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter. Right? Um, there's like a little line that comes through it. It's a super, super cute font. Now, um, let me scroll in a little bit. So what's funny about this font is, you know, it's a stencil font. So you can see the letter E, it did cut, it did have a little opening so that the middle of the E is connected to the outside. So we're not gonna lose that, right? They did it for the E, they did it for the D, the A, they didn't do it for the O. So the whole O would drop out and I wish I had it, but basically I cleaned up my desk so it's not here anymore. Um, it would just drop out. So I'm going to show you how to slice through this so that it won't drop out. Okay. So I'm going to scroll. I'm going to give ourselves, oops, I scrolled too much. All right. I'm going to move this down. And so all you need to do is we're going to get a square or I'm going to do, I'm going to do this one like with the curved edges and not that it matters. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just choosing that one and I'm going to make it, I'm going to unlock it. Um, so let, oops, what happened here? So the unlock, oh there. So I'm going to unlock it and then I'm going to make it really skinny so that I can stick it in here and slice through the O. We don't need to slice through both sides because just one opening will connect the middle to the, to the outside, right? So I'm gonna put it in there, and now I'm just gonna grab these two items and slice. And then you wanna do it for your other two O's as well. But here's what it will look like, oops. Okay. Like, did it just disappear on me? So it's gonna open up so that the inside is connected to the outside. It is a little bit thicker than this, but you can work your way around it. You kind of get the idea, okay? I'm not gonna do these two O's. You would do the same thing. Now I'm gonna show you how to slice it out of the red and the white pieces. So I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller so that we can see it all on one screen. Okay, what's gonna be important is because these are gonna sit on top of each other, love from Cedarwood, when you slice it out of the white, it needs to be in the exact same spot in the red so that you could see through both, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna grab the red over, and I'm sorry, my phone is still on. Okay, you wanna grab the red and the white and grab both of them and go to align and center them so that they are sitting right on top of each other, okay? And at this point, I'm actually gonna group it so that it stays together, okay? Then I'm gonna put this up here and we can arrange them to the front. Okay, now we can center this as well to make sure that it's right where it needs to be. So you go to align and we're gonna center horizontally so it's gonna be right in the middle 
and it shifted just a little bit. I don't know if you saw that. Okay, so now we're gonna slice it from the white and we're gonna slice it from the red. What you wanna do is go to your right-hand side panel over here. I'm gonna select the words, so love from Cedarwood. You see, once I selected it, this little box showed up, right? So that's selected. Hit your shift key on your keyboard at the white paper. So I've selected two. So even though the red and the white papers are grouped together, I only selected the white and the words because you could only slice two things at one time, right? So I'm gonna now go down and click on slice and love from Cedarwood is going to be sliced out of the white, okay? Then I'm going to take, as soon as it's done, now we need to do it to the red. So I'm gonna go again and to the words because everything is staying put, so it's still lined up. I'm gonna grab the words, and then I'm gonna hit the shift key, and I'm gonna grab the red, and I'm gonna slice through that as well. So now what you have is, we'll move everything out, So you see Love from Cedarwood is going to pick up the colors from behind. It's kind of hard to see with these colors. I'm tempted to change the colors just so that you can see um, maybe, yeah, the blue comes through. So you kind of see, um, I know it's going to look weird, but I really want to show you more vibrant colors so that you can kind of see what is going on here. Maybe that will help. Um, let's do this one and we'll do this one in. You can kind of, you get an idea, right? <laughs> All right, this one I'm going to layer, arrange, send to the front. And this will pick up all the colors from behind. It's kind of hard to see in here, but you kind of get it. It's super, super cute. I hope this gives you an idea of how to... Um, take an SVG file that seems permanent, right? But you can still make edits to it, even though it's not your original design and we're not in, you know, Illustrator or Inkscape. So please let me know if you have any comments or questions. Watch the second one because I changed it from Love from Cedarwood to give you more options if, if sizing wasn't uh, an option for you to mess with. So like if you were stuck with the five by five, which I was, I ended up recutting just the top two layers. Everything else cut beautifully. And it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a matter of the cardstock or my mat or my blade because I had just changed out everything. It really was for the cardstock, for the size, the font was too thin. So I will give you options in, um, in the design space portion number two other things to think about where you can still do this design, still do it at five and five by five, but here are other things to think of. So, all right, thank you. I will see you guys next time.